I'm going to be showing you guys how to do room decor using dollar store items. The theme I'm going for is tropical with a hint of rose gold. So let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cute pineapple jewelry stand using a metallic finish rose gold spray paint, forest green and white acrylic paint, a white plate with gold trimming around, an artificial pineapple, and a candlestick holder. I'm taking my rose gold spray paint and just spray painting it all around my pineapple. Then I'm going to be spray painting the top of my pineapple which is totally optional but I'm trying to get the look that I'm going for. After I'm finished with my pineapple, I'm going to be taking my candlestick holder and just spray painting it all around until it is fully covered just like I did with the pineapple. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking my white plate and my green acrylic paint. This is totally optional, but I'll be painting palm leaves all over the plate just to get that tropical look I'm going for. Then, I'm going to be taking my candle holder and using my glue gun, I'm going to be placing the glue on top of the candle holder. Then, taking my plate, I'm going to place it on the center of this candle holder. <laughs> Then, until the plate is fully stabled on the candle holder, I'm going to be taking my pineapple and using my glue gun, just placing glue under the pineapple and just finding the center of the plate and sticking it on the center. This is the final look. This is super cute, super minimal, and very affordable. You can just have all your jewelry in just one part of your room. <laughs> For this next DIY, I'm going to be making this rose gold marbled vase using some metallic rose gold paint, some green leaves, a vase, and some marbles. First, I'm going to be taking my marbles and my spray paint and just spray painting it all until it is fully covered. And until it is fully dried, I'm just going to be taking my glue gun and just placing glue under the marble and just placing it onto the vase. Using the same method until I just get halfway through the vase. After I get the look that I'm going for, I'm just gonna place the green leaves inside the vase and I am done. For this last DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this picture holder using clothespins. The things you'll need is metallic finished rose gold spray paint, some twine, white acrylic paint, a palette, and some clothespins. First, you're going to take your spray paint and your clothespins and just spray paint them until it is fully covered. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my white paint and my palette and just paint it until it is fully covered. I'm going to paint the sides of this palette as well and also the back. Until my palette is fully dried, I'm going to be taking my green acrylic paint. And again, this is totally optional, but I'm going to be painting green palm leaves all over the palette. After I get that tropical look that I was going for, I'm going to take my glue gun and my clothespins and just place glue on the back of the part that I did not spray paint. After I finish gluing the clothespins onto the palette, I'm going to be taking my twine and cutting it a little longer than my palette just so I can have a little space for it to hang. Then using the glue gun, I'm going to be placing glue on both sides of the twine and placing it on the far corner of the palette. And this is our final look. Again, this is super easy, super minimal, and very affordable. You can just hang all your cute little pictures onto this palette. So that's the end of this DIY. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you would like to see more of these DIYs. And I'll see you guys soon.